Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'd like to say hello to any new subscribers and thank you to any already subscribed. Um, just having a quick look over some three, well, three of my little ratchet and screwdrivers that I've got. Um, personally, my, my favorite is more over here, but that's a different story. Obviously been waiting for uh, the Grand Prix and the rains hit that. So I thought I'd just get on and do a couple of videos, um, practice some of the editing. So like I say, please bear with me with my videos. Um, slowly, hopefully getting better and a bit more content for them. Um, and we're just gonna have a little look through these three ratchet and screwdrivers. Some love them, some hate them. Some people don't use them. I, I do personally. Um, these two are mine. This is um, somebody in works. It was just by his tool bag. So I asked if I could uh, bring home and have a look at it. But I think we've all used these ones in the past. Stanley, you no know, reputable make, um, make very good bags as well. But um, it is, I think it per, uh, sells for around £13, which is, isn't bad. It does the job. Um, You've got all of your bits around here and they're on a free moving mechanism. So that's not part of the ratcheting. Go ratcheting buttons here. You know, the click's very positive. Um, and like I say, that spins on its own so you can get a grip on there. Just pop out one of these. Okay, there you go. The bits you get with them, nice quality, good quality bits. Again, it does what, what it says in the box, it does what it's supposed to do. Really you can't um, knock it, and like I say, Stanley, they've been around for a long time. They know what they're doing, they're aiming at a certain market. And in all fairness, I think this is, is a bad little tool. Let's have a little look at the backhoe. I purchased this one. I've seen the same sort of model, but with a little light there, and I thought, right, I'll get that. But as Amazon normally do, send the wrong one. So I didn't bother sending it back. I, I maybe should have. Um, it just had a little light there, and it was the ratcheting one. So I stuck with it. Very impressive little tool. There you go, there's the little magazine with all your bits. Obviously you can change them out and however else you want them. If there's some other way or something else you want to put in there, like you want to put some TX bits in there, it works, you know, it's fine. But again, this is a nice um, ratchet and screwdriver and the length of it, sorry, the length of it is quite long as well. And obviously with the bit, you do get good reach on it. This one, Retails for around, um, I think it's 18, 19 pound, around that price. But again, back of this, another good make. Um, very trusted, reliable make. I haven't had no problems with it. I've used it quite a few times. But again, that's a nice, nice tool. Ratcheting on it is very good. Now this one, this, 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 this is slightly on um, a different level. Don't ask me why, but this is my preference one. Um, it's £27. I've seen them going for about £33 as well on different websites. Um, but this is um, a very, very nice one. The, the gearing on it, obviously you've got the locking mechanism there. The gearing ratcheting on it is very good. You know, you've got both unidirectional. Press the top, up it pops. And again, you've got all of your wearer bits in there. Um, it comes with obviously your main um, posies, your flatheads and your main Phillips, ones and twos. But like I keep saying, you can swap them out however you want them. If you don't use um, too many of the flat, um, bits, swap them out. If you use more TX bits, pop them in, anything. But this one, um, I would say is 
leading the way for ratchet and screwdrivers. It's a wearer, you know, you, you get good quality with it. You're paying for the quality. But like, like I keep saying in the videos, or I will start saying in the videos, it doesn't matter if you're using this. This is what you can afford, and this is what you're going to use. It's not a problem. You know, nobody looks, looks at your tools and thinks you can't do the job right. It's just nice to have the nice tools. Um, but this, given the choice, this is my go-to ratchet and screwdriver. Um, and obviously that's a spare one I just keep in my Vito Pro Pack. And this one I keep in my TP3B, just on the side. It's in there. Um, and obviously with these, you can, you know, put a different fitting on. I've just got a little nut there. So if you put, put nuts in, you know, you've got the capabilities to put whatever you want, just as long as it fits each of the ends, which these do fit the ends. Um, it's only a cheap little set. Um, but they are good. The magnet in them is very strong. But anyway, different video, different thing for that. This, I really like. I've got to say, um, got a bit of a soft spot for this one. It's not a ratchet in one. It is a 11 in one by Klein Tools, American brand. Um, and I just find this really, really comfy. The grip on it is really comfy. It is only short, but that shouldn't be a problem. And the way this one works, you've got obviously like a cartridge there, and then you just swap the bits out. I'm going to look into where you can get these bits because obviously they're dual sided. So I would mind looking and see if Klein do um, sell them. And obviously, with this, then you've got a nut driver there, a nut driver there. Swap it out, and if you look at the cartridge there, they're tapered, so obviously there's a nut driver there. So that is handy. The only reason I keep mentioning that is because I was using some um, galve trunking the, um, the conduit, and it had the little inspection case thing. Normally it's got like the flathead screws, and I couldn't get in because. It was outside and somebody put nets on it to stop people from tampering with it. So I managed to get on with this. And this is why I had my pocket at the time. I had a torch and I had this in my pocket and it worked perfect. Um, and like I say, it's a nice tool. I think I paid about £22 for this. Again, it's a nice tool. Nice to have in the bag. Um, but again, fan of these ones um i've seen the ratchet version that's about i think it was 32 32 pound for the ratchet one um so i think that's going to be next on the list have a look at that and try that one out but um definitely guys give the 11 in one a go um see what you think it's a nice nice screwdriver but there's my go-to that is very nice. Um, I think I'm going to do another review shortly as well, guys. This is only a quick um, quick review. I think what I'm going to do, um, maybe a bit of Nipex stuff, if um, that's what you'd really like to see. Leave a comment, you know. Don't have to say too much, but I think I'm going to put some Nipex stuff on um, and have a look at my Nipex screwdriver set, which I've been going through now for, I think I've been using it for two or three months. And um, really rate them highly, but speak about that in another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks. Please subscribe. And thanks for any comments and thanks for any subscribers already.